My fellow Bengaluru folks, listen up because something interesting is brewing in Namma city. A 12,000 square meter startup and tech museum inside a repurposed factory guided by India's top tech leaders is opening in 2027. Yes, you heard that right. The city that built India's tech economy will now preserve it, teach it and showcase it to the world. Before you proceed, like, share and subscribe because this one defines the next decade of Indian innovation. So Bengaluru will open India's first startup and tech museum by 2027. Location? Inside the iconic switchgear factory shed at NGEF by Apanahalli. It's a 12,000 square meter industrial structure that's going to be transformed into a global level museum. So it is going to be built under a public-private partnership between the Department of Electronics ITBT and SNT. You got the unboxing BLR, Karnataka Technology and Innovation Museum Foundation, that is the KTIMF. And the phase one is set to open in 2027 and phase two in 2028. This is going to be a living archive of India's tech revolution with Bangalore as the heart of the story. So this project has a board that reads like a hall of fame list. You've got Kiran Masumdar Shah from Bayakan, Chris Gopalakrishnan who is the Infosys co-founder, Hari Marar, the BIAL CEO, Ajit Isaac from Curse Corp, Manu Saleh from Mercedes-Benz R&D, Vijay Chandru, Strand Life Sciences, Krishna Kumar Natarajan, the co-founder of Mindtree, and of course with government leadership from Manjula N, who happens to be the secretary of the ITBT ministry, Rahul Charanappa Shankar, who is the IAS officer and the MD of the department. And this is the strongest cross-sector coalition ever that's going to be assembled for a cultural tech project in India. According to Prashant Prakash, the chairperson and co-founder of Unboxing BLR, Bengaluru's 50 to 40 to 50 year tech journey spanning across India's science, innovation and engineering breakthroughs and the rise of Indian startups and the economy transformation led by tech over 25 years and a future forward lens on AI, robotics, deep tech, climate, climate tech and urban innovation will all be a part of a fully interactive and a tech heavy experience open to contribution from startups, R&D labs and companies across India. So for decades, Bengaluru is the city that wrote India's IT story. It built unicorns before the world even became cool, gave birth to Infosys, Biocon, Flipkart, Inmobi, Razorpay, Swiggy, Aether, Slice, Grown, countless other companies. Also built India's AI research base of sorts and houses the largest GCC hub in the world. And now also hosts India's fastest growing deep, deep tech incubator, Innoverse, you know, right next door. So together, the museum plus Innoverse create a 12,000 plus 11,000 square meter innovation district in Bayapanhalli. This is a strategic soft power asset of sorts because you got cities like London with the Science Museum, San Francisco with the Exploratarium, Tokyo with the Mirakian, which built global reputations through spaces like these. India has had none but until now because Bengaluru will be the first Indian city where children, founders, researchers and global visitors can walk through the story of Indian innovation from ISRO to Infosys to AI and Deep Tech. Look, notably Bengaluru is building the memory of Indian innovation. A museum for the past but also an incubator for the future. It's going to be the city that tells its own story. So tell us in the comments below, what exhibit would you want to see in India's first startup and tech museum? Want to see Flipkart's first office or Infosys or Biocon's successful IPO stories or the first computers that probably Narayan Murthy and co procured to start the company or the first enzyme product sold by Kirun Mazumdar Shah's company, Biocon? Well, yes, it's quite interesting actually. It was called uh, Pepin, if I pronounce it right. It's an enzyme extracted from papaya fruit which was apparently used in the brewing industry to prevent chilled beer from turning hazy. Or do you want to see ISRO's PSLV timeline? You got other options from India's first unicorn stories led by Inmobi, Swiggy and others. But don't worry, we've got you covered. When any of this happens, you'll be hearing that news first here on front page by AIM Network. So like, share and subscribe. And always remember to think AI, think AIM. Thank you.